This is the most explosive offense in Madden 24. Break yourself, fool! So long, suckers! It has unstoppable glitch routes all over the field. Do it! And multiple won't play touchdowns for every defense in the game. So if you guys want to see what offense I'm using, get results like this. Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive it. Stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my Denver Broncos Offensive and Las Vegas Raiders Defensive eBooks. If you guys want more help, you can instantly download these or any of my eBooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. In today's gameplay, we have a matchup of the last two undefeated teams in the league, and we are playing against what might be the best defense in Madden. But even this is no match for the offense I'm going to show you guys today. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel and I appreciate the support. The offensive formation that I'm going to be showing you once again today is my gun wing flex offset. I've already made several videos about this offense, including a full practice mode breakdown. So if you want to see more from this offense, I will have a link in the description and on screen at the end of the video. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys two new very important one play touchdowns to add to this offense. If you saw my last video about this offense, you might have noticed that this offense struggled against both cover four defenses. So after that game, I went back to the lab to find answers for those defenses, which is what this video is about today. My audible plays are still the stick nod vertical, which has multiple routes that work against both man and zone. The inside zone, which is the only spot that I use for my run plays. There are three run plays in this formation that are good, so I will change this to the power O and the O1 trap from time to time. The next play is the wheel post drag, which also has a lot of one play touchdowns in it. And the last play is the topic of today's video, and that's the PA double post, which really is a one play touchdown versus every defense in the game. My fifth and active play is the mesh spot, as all these routes can beat both man and zone. I start the drive by quick throwing to the running back as doing this will guarantee that he gets open against any defense. But I only choose to do this so that I can start the next play on the hash mark, which is very important when it comes to some of the one play touchdowns in this offense. And on the very next play, when I come out of the huddle, I see that he is already in cover three. I showed this one play touchdown in my last video, but it's easily my favorite since no one will ever see it coming. If you missed that video, don't worry because I'll quickly go over it again. Defenses in Madden are programmed to not respect tight end speed. As you can see that the single high safety here is usually in the middle of the field, but since I'm on a hash mark and there are no receivers on the right side of the field he is programmed to start the play cheating over to the receiver side even the cornerback on the tight end side is playing closer to the line of scrimmage than the cornerback on the receiver side which leaves a huge spacing deep between the cornerback and safety and since the cornerback will react to the route that the b tight end is running all i had to do is put the a tight end on a streak where i have my fastest tight end at and put both wide receivers on phase to hold the safety to that side after that i just have to pass lead in a way that splits them <laughs> And I don't get the perfect pass lead as I almost let the safety come back and make a play, but I will take it as we score on the second play of the game. On defense, I'm going to be using the big nickel over G scheme that I put out recently, but I will be focusing mostly on offense in this video. So if you guys want to see more about this defense, I will once again have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. On defense, we do shut him down early in the first drive as we give up a big run on first down before shutting his run down the next play and almost getting an interception to force a fourth and four that he decides to go for as we almost get another interception. What? I switch defenses on the next play, link in the description once again, as he is clearly a run first player. <laughs> Your ass down. As I am now matching his offensive personnel before he completes a big pass to what's essentially every Niners player's offense in Christian McCaffrey. From here he floats the ball just out of reach before we dial up a blitz to push him back to third and 20 from midfield. Before he tries to pick up a first down on the ground to get to a fourth and 20. I should have called a prevent from here as he hits me over the middle with a clutch crossing out to tie the game. God damn it! Back on offense, nothing has changed, including my opponent's defense, as I am shocked to see that he is still in a cover three once again. To be fair, that last play looked like the safety had a play on the ball, so he probably thought it was a fluke. Break yourself, fool! And Huafunga had no chance as we probably won't see him in cover three again. Back on defense, I switched to the 4-3 even 6-1, thinking I could get some heat with this blitz, but there's not enough athleticism on the field to tackle guys like Christian McCaffrey, as I call a Manzer blitz, and he just juiced the coverage out of their shoes to quickly tie the game right back. 
Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. Back in offense, I wait to see what coverage my opponent is in, as I just can't read it right away, before seeing him switch to cover three one more time. What, are you fucking retarded or something? That ain't fucking right. This guy is really just asking for it. I think this guy might be baiting me at this point, so I make sure to give myself a check down to the running back, but it works the exact same way. Break yourself, fool! Except we get tackled this time, as I try the corner around the next play. <laughs> Before I roll out with Hurts, run. On the next kickoff, this guy has some of the best kick returns and stick work I've faced in Madden 24, as he would have had an easy touchdown here, but he decides to run out of bounds for some reason. What? I'm probably thinking he's going to score anyways. Well, you think you so I took that personally. <laughs> and now he is running my offense. Okay, stop copying me. And now we are shutting shit down. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. And pushing back to fourth in a mile. That he decides to hurry me up and go for. <laughs> Looks so tough now. Back on offense, AJ Brown ain't catching shit through contact. <laughs> But somehow Madden called possession on that, so I'll take it. It looks like he's going to cover two on the next play, so the plan is to motion across the tight end and put him on a streak to pull back the safety or any deep zone in the area while putting the X receiver on a smoke to possibly pull the cornerback down. If I see the corner route get open over the top of the cornerback, that's the read, but if the cornerback drops back too far, I'll immediately throw it to the smoke route for a catch and run underneath. And if I stick to this read, I can't be wrong. As I see the corner route get open over the top... On the next kickoff, this guy basically does the exact same return on me on the next play. And fuck this guy! Only this time he doesn't have the choice to run out of bounds as we get him out ourselves. And this game would be a lot closer if he wasn't so cocky. He comes out under center again on the next play as he clearly wants to run the football. How about new? Tries to pass on the next play, but our line gets his hands up to force another fourth down that he has to go for. As we cut off all the short routes and he tries for the end zone. Gotcha, bitch. But that wasn't even close as we return to the 25. It looks like he's changed defenses once again in the next series as it looks like he's in a man press cover 2 this time. But the exact same setup that I use against the cover 2 zone works the exact same way. Against man though, I will want to run this to the open side of the field to give the receiver more time to get separation and we get another big play on the sideline. On the next play, I get to see a new coverage that we haven't seen yet in the dreaded cover 4 match. As I said in my last video, this defense gave this scheme a lot of problems. When I labbed this after the game, it turned out that the PA double post was actually a natural one play touchdown with no adjustments at all as this wide receiver will get completely forgotten in coverage right over the middle of the field and all the adjustments i was doing was just messing that up Break yourself, fool. as now we have scored a one play touchdown against every coverage in the game and my opponent is out of defenses to switch to now this setup and this gameplay was before the patch so i want to give you guys a one play touchdown against cover four in practice mode that you guys can use if you run into somebody running cover four against this offense online the play is going to be the wheel post drag and all i have to do is motion across this b route tight end and put him on a streak and you're going to see how he gets completely lost in coverage now i do have three other one play touchdowns from this play but you'll have to wait to see that in future videos or check it out. Links in the description in my ebook. Now, if we can only stop this guy on kick returns, as we squib kick it this time, and he still gets back to the 40 yard line. No big deal though, as we are still up three scores, two scores. As he goes for two, it makes it a weird 13 point lead before working my way into field goal range to get the lead back to 16 before half. He gets the ball after halftime and starts to drive with another big carry by his offense run CMC. Who says Madden is realistic, right? He's trying to go deep, but it's not there, as we're at least making him settle for short throws before we shut down his run the next play to force another fourth down that he tries to pick up with my double drags play, but he ain't me. And now since he has almost run out of defenses, it looks like he's back in cover three. Psych! But it turns out to be a cover one man. On the next play, I get sacked instantly, but I see that he is in a cover four drop, giving me a chance to show you guys one more new one play touchdown setup for this defense as well, as it is also very simple. All I have to do is motion out the B tight end and put him on a comeback route, and the Y receiver will get open over the top of this cornerback. As you can see, the safety go turns attention to the X receiver, but the pressure gets home before I get a clean throw away. But I just wanted to show you at least this setup for the people that use this offense at home, as it does work. You just need time in the pocket and you need to pass lead to the corner of the end zone. I put it away from here since we have a big lead, but our offense won't get the ball again. Gotcha, bitch. But that doesn't mean we're not scoring, as he tries to beat my man coverage with a double move, and we double his score to end the game. 
So that's that's the video. Give this offense a try and let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you want to see more about the defense I was using in today's video, I will have them popping up on screen. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.